chicken. I was like, to hell with you, man. I don't love fries that much. I mean, they are delicious. If you know how good these are with the ranch dressing, I really think it would be an epic moment if you would like break uh, right now. If this would be like the moment where you'd say, you know what? I'm giving in. I'm you, uh, <laughs> you underestimate me, sir. I give up the resistance I, and I I'm just going to eat this fry. I am iron willed. I will not break. I promise I'll I use your $100 crumble. for a good cause. Maybe I will put up a nice show match, man. Imagine you eating this fry could be the start you of a great I'm gonna soccer do, to show I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this bet. I'm gonna buy a hundred dollars worth of french fries. Yes. And I'm not even gonna eat them. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy them. And I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna just make it rain. I'm gonna buy a hundred dollars worth of french fries. I'm gonna go to the strip club and I'm gonna throw them at the strippers. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be very happy with that. We're gonna make it rain. Uh, let's focus on StarCraft 2, uh, Starcraft 2 again, Ben. As Cloud is of course our yellow Terran on the right top side of Entombed Valley while Naniwa is our Swedish Proto spawning in the left bottom side. I took another look at that game number one, which was played on Daybreak, because I want to make sure I didn't use and um, didn't miss anything super important. Uh, I was wondering about the timing of the gateway. It was a 12 gate. Naniwa did of course spend a lot of Chrono Boost on his first Zealot, and also on the second Zealot, and then the follow-up, but it was still a 12 gate. Can I help you? Why are you looking so mad right now? Because you're... Guys, if you, could, if you could see Kevin's face right now, he just like waved his hand at me and gave me yeah. a really mean look. What was that all about? Because you're not listening and it's annoying. Y you were just talking about a 12 gate. <laughs> Why don't you tell yes. us more about the 12 gate, Kev? No, I was just what's wondering. The importance, what's the relevance of this 12 gate here on Entomb Valley? No, I am not. I wasn't talking about the 12 gate on Entomb Valley, man. I was talking about the game on Daybreak. And of course, Carlo was also going double command set. Now, normally, guys, if a Terran goes for a no gas fast expand, they build the first command set over here. While they're doing that, they have two additional Rexes going up in the main base. Now, in the previous game, Carlo went for double command set, so he had one more command center in his main, which means that his marine production was extremely slow, and he would only be able to produce one marine at a time and would just never be able uh, to muster out enough marines uh, as or requirable that he needed or wouldn't be able to get enough marines that uh, what am I trying to say Ben? Basically Cloud was crushed <laughs> in the build order war there was no chance from there. But that's not what I'm trying to say. Cloud was not able to get the amount of marines necessary to deal with the pressure of Naniwa. Wow that wasn't really all that hard. Good job Kevin. <laughs> As Cloud is going to scout right now across the map, he's going for the no gas fast expand build once more, Ben. This time, however, he's going to build his first command center in his main. Now, this is a little bit of a mind game already, as Naniwa uh, did foregate in the previous game. Now, I kind of wonder if he actually wants to foregate or uh, that he decided to foregate after his first two Zealots and the Stalker did so much damage. Carlo is opening up much more safe. Uh, for a second, I actually thought that he wanted to trick him, that he uh, wanted to worry Naniwa about a gas opening, maybe a, a potential 1-1-1 one, one, one build. But that's not really the case, as Carlo is already going to build the bunker on the low ground. So it's kind of giving him the idea, I am going for a, a, fast, uh, a fast expand, what does Naniwa despite the command center being in the main. I thought he was going to go one gate expand, and he sent a probe down, and then he just built two more gateways. Uh-oh. Might be three more. Naniwa is going to four gate again, then, second game on the row. Wow, Nani saying, Cloud, you are not, uh, you are not ready. You are not prepared. And he is just going to fork it twice. Follow his uh, supply block, uh, but his command center is about to finish up, so that will be taken care of. Nani was counting this right now. With Carlo not having that command center yet on the low ground uh, band, that also means that there are no SCVs nearby to repair this bunker. And if Cloud is going to end up losing these first five, six Marines, that is the only bunker that he has right now, so... This is actually kind of risky. Dire Straits right now for Cloud. He does have three racks up, and he can begin producing Marines in mass. But is it enough? Is it too little too late? Still no expansion from Naniwa. Uh, is he going to warp in first, or is he going to expand first? Carlos really going to need SCVs on the low ground, Ben. I'm pretty sure that Naniwa is going to warp in. He does have this probe here, as you mentioned. Uh. It is, it is going to be a warp in. There it is, four Stalkers at once. Uh, no sentries at all in this uh, little attack. There are still barely any SCVs on the low ground, Ben. This is really the biggest problem right now for Cloud. Oh, Probe leads the way and it's even going to get in the mix here and immediately that bunker is going to fall. Uh, Cloud just completely evacuates his natural expansion just without a moment's hesitation. Oh, Burrows. I mean, a spidey post. But there's no bunker over here. Naniwa, it's going to be a little bit annoying for him to micro right now. He's even going to go into the main base. One stalker is a little bit low in HP, but Cloud is in so much trouble. I don't see how he's ever going to get a bunker up. Yeah, big warp in there. Four more Zealots joining the fray, and... Zealots in front. 
Army supply-wise, Cloud is being doubled right now. 10 Army supply to 20. And Naniwa is just going to march right forward. And he is not going to even, not even the slightest bit of struggle here against Cloud. There's just nothing out that can really deal with this. Uh, new Pylon does finish up. That's going to allow for Warpins right on top of this ramp. And there it is, four more Zealots. And those will be the Zealots that close this one I out. think this might be the quickest series in NASO history, man. That was a very fast two games, about 12 minutes of game time. Translates 12 to minutes of blizzard time. Yeah, nine minutes of real time. Well, As uh, Naniwa very quickly, two O's Cloud. A little bit disappointed there by Cloud's play. I just don't understand what he was what he was going for. He was building the command center in his main. Now, this is something that Terrans often do. If they, uh, to trick their opponent, like, hey, um, Protoss might think, like, okay, he might 1-1-1 me. You know what? I'm going to take double gas before I expand. I'm going to delay everything a little bit. But then he builds the bunker on the low ground, so he's kind of just saying, like, hey, I am going fast expand. The command center is not there, but he was still going for the fast expand. But then there were no SCVs on the low ground, so that means that the only six, seven Marines that you have, they are very exposed on the low ground, and he didn't have a follow-up bunker. If you had one more bunker on top of the high, ground he would have already been a lot more safe because that's one bunker that will never fall but yeah one bunker which is so exposed is always going to die against any sort of pressure whether it's three get is spent or just straight up four gate has to be a frustrating two games for cloud <laughs> who once more falls to naniwa naniwa now 2-2 two -two in the league that's actually naniwa's first real win in the north american star league he was one and two prior to this but that's one and two with a walkover victory uh, so uh, mm -hmm. congratulations, Nani, on getting that, uh, getting that first monkey off your back and moving into the money finally. That last game brought to you guys by Azo Monitors. Azo, the best and brightest production and gaming monitors on the planet. You can pick up your own Azo Monitor at azo.com slash na. Next match and our final match of the day, Xenio versus Puma should be absolutely yes. epic. EG versus Liquid. It's also a live match. I'm not sure if they're actually playing on the North American server or if they played at 6 p.m. It was played on Korea. The okay. only reason I know that is because Puma messaged me. He's like, hi. And I was like, hey, Puma. He's like, we play North America. And I said, no, <laughs> we play on Korea. Send us the replays. He said, okay, bye. And uh, then he logged out. Guys, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back with Fierce Fitness and with our final game of the night. Don't go anywhere. NASL returns in a minute. <laughs> 